I'm Sarah Richardson. We spent the first summer enjoying and figuring out the cottage and the island, and we didn't even come close to scratching the surface on the to-do list of jobs. Come Labor Day, it was back to the city for me and the girls, but back to work on the island for Alex. This is Sarah's Island Rescue. After most people closed their island cottages for the winter, we were just getting started on ours. And that's where Chris comes in. I love symmetry. And we have the width of the living room opening on to the full width of the dining room. You've got this amazing general store counter and then it pinches in to the kitchen. You think we can open up this doorway, Chris? What gets us the best result with the least amount of work? We've got a porch, a huge living room, a tiny kitchen, and another screen porch. Can I just make a suggestion? Why don't you just make this the kitchen? Wait a second. I thought I was supposed to have all the big design ideas. And turn that into the bar. Is this too big to be a bar? <laughs> I think you made a great point. See that smile? That's the look of Alex, very proud of his excellent idea. What size is this? 16. Bye. Almost 16. If we're actually gonna connect these two rooms, we could completely connect them. Yeah. I, I think if we peel open this wall, we'll yeah. see, well, a better idea, because that would be a great peninsula right there. So how do you peel open the wall if you guys are staying here? Yep, you heard me. I just said staying here. Since we're on an island, Alex and Chris will live at the cottage while the renovation is happening. It's gonna be a real live-work situation. Luckily, we've known Chris for over 15 years since before Fiona was born. And one of the things I love about Chris is that he's always up for any adventure. Hammer, BFI. Brute force and ignorance. <laughs> Brute force and ignorance. <laughs> Let's get some boards gone. First board. These are coming off fairly easily. Nice pine. Nice pine. Yeah, I feel like it, if it structures from here on. There we go. Guessing it's from there. Okay. Here you go to here. Yeah, we could do that and do the same on the other side. I think getting rid of that would make a huge difference. And there is and always the option of getting a long beam. Right. From back there, right across if need be. Yeah, good. I like that. This screen porch, which is currently a dumping ground for all sorts of yuck and muck. Mm -hmm. If this becomes interior space, right. then you don't need this. This right. door can just become open. We take it right up to the ceiling here right. if we can, and hopefully we can. Yeah. And then you get the feeling that this is open. That ceiling's low. Yeah. But I wonder what if we can actually s steal some height out of it. If we could make a cathedral. I got you now. We could have a cathedral ceiling kitchen with this as the view. If this became the kitchen sink here, okay. I'd have a view of the entire bay. Everything about this project, I've been thinking, how do we take what we've got, make the most of it, do the least with it, make it awesome. Then it's gonna work. Bigger kitchen, check. This is amazing, mm -hmm. but then you come up these stairs and when you get a group of people in here, the low ceiling makes it really loud. This is a nice space, but mm. it feels kind of... You wanna knock that ceiling out and raise it? I think it would be a game changer. Mm -hmm. Don't you, Alex? I do. You're talking cathedral? I would. So all the furniture goes. I personally think these cupboards are good storage, makes for a decent delineation. Mm -hmm. We could split them in half and have it so the staircase went in the middle. But then you'd always be going around the table to come down the stairs. So mm -hmm. one argument says it's weird to have it pinched over here, and the other is, but it works really well. I don't know, you've lived here. You've stayed here, I haven't yeah. yet, so. Well, I'll <laughs> talk to you at the end of the week. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be I mean, some the living ideas room, then. The living room is amazing. Mm -hmm. The porch is amazing. New furniture. I want to put a built-in daybed in the window. 
The main transformation in this room is a whole lot of paint. We'll repaint all of this, spray all the walls, put down new floors, and I would really love multiple fixtures in this ceiling. Basket lights, paper, lanterns, something that kind of plays off the volume. Clover, it's a good thing you've got those dirty paws in the before. Don't you come in here like that after. You know what this table is? Not staying. There are too many parrots on this table for my taste. It's a Jimmy Buffett table. Right, and this? These are not the dining chairs of my dreams. It's a bit tacky for my taste, but I mean, they got a lot of nice detail in this. Beautifully carved. You know what? Someone wants this table. Oh, someone would love this table. Someone would love this table. I'm just not that person. Deep down, my gut tells me that the kitchen would work a lot better if this wasn't here. I agree. I like it, but maybe it. it's just the wrong spot. What's so fun about this piece is it's an original general store counter. This is when people were much shorter, I think. We'll find another spot for this. This has a weird layout. Right. Because you've got the big sink, then you've got a tub, then the toilet and the shower in the back. This is the ensuite for the principal bedroom. It's on the first floor, and I think it can be completely transformed without too much effort. To rip apart and gut this whole bathroom is just going to be a lot more time and a lot more money. Right. So what I was thinking is, do we just, we can lift the counter off, we can repaint the bases. I mean, these are solid wood fronts, two new mirrors, and then, hi dogs, what now? Yep, hi. What do you want now? So we have this tub, it's in a weird location. Mm -hmm. I think it would feel so much nicer if you just had a big tub and it was open. But the key is patching into the floor. Right. That would be yeah, what I was- Yeah, because you want to keep this floor. Most right. concerned about it. Well, there will be an issue for sure. At the very least, we would do openings in both ends. Yep. I would prefer to see this all come down and just okay. have it be open. We'll know better when we open things. Okay. As usual. I think you're gonna make a mess. I don't like these California shutters. We are on an island. No one, no one's looking in. My sweater matches the shower curtain. It's gorgeous, right? Now this, th this is a really big shower with not a lot of fabulous happening. Could we spin the toilet so that this could just be a glass shower enclosure? Spin the toilet. And then the shower is gonna feel way nicer. Right. All the art is from the Bahamas, but we're on a great lake. The green toilet is special, right? This is a make under, I right? Like that. This is a renovation light. I've given you the carrot, I've given you water. I cannot figure out what you want me to know. Something is urgent. And then there's the principal bedroom, or the cabin as I like to call it. In here, we have a bit of an issue because there's something weird about the pitch of these steps. One is too high. I got eight, we got seven and a half. We got six and a half. Yeah. Doesn't feel so good in the night. It is a much bigger room than we need, but there's not much we can do that's gonna change it. Other than paint. Other than, other than paint. <laughs> Chris just wants to be sure. Just to be clear, <laughs> wait, we're painting it, wait, you're, right? You're not keeping this, right? <laughs> no, so I like to think of this as being a cabin. This is gonna be totally transformed with paint. What is wild about it right now is you can barely even see the line of the ceiling. Right. Because it's yeah. so dark. Mm -hmm. But we have amazing storage, but that's also kind of weird. I would be inclined to remove the whole upper and just keep the lower. Upstairs, we have three more bedrooms and two more bathrooms to deal with. This used to be a lounge, and now it has two twin beds in it. I think what we need is some overflow sleeping accommodations and kind of a kid's lounge hangout. So what I envision here is two twin beds, Maybe we put them here, flanking the window and a little seating area. We need to get rid of the green. There is too much, too much, too much green in here. Does the green in this bathroom make me look green? Every bedroom suite has its own bathroom. And honestly, the layouts are pretty great. So my agenda here is to refresh, 
reinvigorate and renovate in the easiest way possible. We've got great storage, big counters. I'm gonna take this counter off and I'm gonna replace it. I'm gonna change out the wall sconces. We'll repaint the walls. And this is all about the magic and the power of decorative touches and paint. We've got one hunter green bathroom, one moss green bathroom, and one Caribbean blue bathroom. The layout of this bathroom is awesome. It just needs to have the shower retiled. It needs new color on the floor, fresh coat of paint on the walls, and we need to update this vanity. Do we replace this vanity? Yeah, I think we replace this vanity. This vanity goes. Yep, and this will be a dramatic difference. So I mentioned that we bought this place without an inspection, right? We knew there'd be some surprises along the way, but yikes. That, is that wood that I'm pushing into? Yeah. Okay. It, it was. Okay, it was. So in terms of what I was trying to save, there's nothing to save. So there's nothing to save here. No. So what's the plan? Investigate it all the way around and see what we're dealing with? Rip it all off and see how bad it is. I'm headed back to the city, and the boys will be here on the island in November, tackling a whole lot of demo. You're going to want to subscribe to see what happens next. See you next time on Sarah's Island Rescue. Don't forget to subscribe to Design Life and turn on the bell for notifications so you never miss an episode.